Hello, I am the Awakened Dreamer, and I'm here to give you a daily tarot reading for today, August the 17th. All right, and I do want to take this moment to thank all of my new and returning subscribers. Welcome, everybody. And if you haven't yet, please do hit that subscribe button for me. And I more than appreciate all the likes, comments, and shares, so make sure you go on down below and do just that for me. And I uh, meditated to get an overall message for this reading. And the message that came through was, let's go, let's go, let's go. All right. I feel like everybody's a bit excited. There's an excited feeling in the air, you know, about what's to come. But let's start off by pulling a message or two from the Oracle of the Hidden Worlds deck. What do we have, Spirit, to start off this daily read? I just want that one. So we're starting off with the Tree of Illumination, Truth, Revelations, Understanding. You're realizing at this point in life where you're meant to be or where you want to start heading. Who you're meant to be. I feel like people, a lot of people these days are going through inner revelations, you know, realizing who you're meant to be in this world, you know, what you're meant to achieve. And let's not forget, this reading is for all 12 signs, so everybody's welcome. They're saying your tree of knowledge is growing. I literally just saw it in my mind's eye, a tree just growing. Wow, that's beautiful. All right, so let's continue. I decided I'm only going to pull four uh, tarot cards. Keep the daily read much more simplistic than a weekly or a monthly read. But I do want to do some shuffling first. I have to say, I'm getting, growing to love this Oracle of the Hidden Worlds deck. Quite beautiful. Anyways, one more shuffle. Alrighty, Spirit, what do we have for, for this daily read to continue? Please and thank you. Lying onto the ground again, a very excited feeling. Let me just pull the last three. Okay. Actually, I'm going to do this. Don't mind me as I reorganize a bit. All right, so starting off with the four cards, we have Ten of Cups. Enjoying things before they start to change. But for a lot of you, I feel like you are imagining what's to come, you're imagining what, what's going to come from this change that has been in the air recently. Accepting that you can achieve what you set your mind to at this time. If it's starting a family, if it's meeting a new uh, significant other, if it's, you know, starting a new job or creating a new career for yourself, like starting a new business, it's all in the cards for you at this time. And they're saying it, 
it starts with your mental state. You know, if you truly believe it, you can truly start to manifest what you want out of life. Okay? But if there's a sliver of doubt, you can forget it. Because you're sending that doubt out into the universe. And then they won't know exactly what you um, want out of life. Okay? Or what you think is actually going to happen. And then we have the King of Pentacles. They're saying, this is your future, my friend. Confidence, success, ambition, manifestation. They're just throwing these individual words at me because I feel like this is truly how your future is supposed to be. And what you've started recently or about to is going to align you with this, the status, if you will. <clears throat> Excuse my voice. Yeah, setting yourself up for comfort and success. And that's going to be different for everybody, but I truly feel that with this comes a sense of freedom, you know, and I feel like that's why you're so excited, you know, hence the message, let's go, let's go, let's go. You know, it's like, I've lived, you know, this life or done, you worked this job or however pertains to you, but in this relationship that's, um, that hasn't been as fulfilling or as passionate for me, especially these days. And so it's like, you're ready to break free and start something new, you know, or you're ready to break free and just begin a new journey with every right, you know? And then we have the Empress card. Your ideas are gold, all right? They're gonna be part of helping you create this life that you want, you know, helping you pave your way into the future. Remember we were talking about the tree of knowledge? I feel like as you make these revelations and as you develop this somewhat newfound knowledge for yourself moving forward, I really feel like these, it's gonna help you start to create even more amazing creative ideas, you know? Whether it's to start up a new business, a new side hustle, to just create extra income for yourself or however is gonna to pertain to your particular situation. But I do feel like you are at the very, very least giving birth to a new way of being, okay? And then we have the Page of Swords. You may have to receive a message today, whether it's a text message, an email. Oh, it's gonna make you smile, is what they're saying. It's a good message. It may not be till the end of the day, but they're reminding you that whoever this is, those are the kind of people you want to keep around. You know, those are the people you want to not necessarily hold on tight to because we don't want to hold tight to, to anything or anybody. You know, we want to go with the flow. But they're just reminding us, you do go through these revelations these days um make sure you're paying attention to who's a healthy connection in your life you know even if they've been in your life for a while even if they're family you know it's up to you to take a step back and re-examine and reevaluate who and what is still working for you and still is helping you move forward and aligning you with what you're meant to do in this life okay and i feel like i say this often but that's not selfish all right, 
That's looking out for number one, and that's you. Let's close off this daily read by pulling a message or two from the Moonology uh, Oracle deck. What do we have to finish off this daily read, please? Oops. <laughs> Alrighty. So you got three. Look at that. Interesting, because usually we begin with a few and then end with one, but we go with whatever spirit wants, all right? A win-win outcome is forecast. Any conflict that you might deal with or have been dealing with recently, there's a solution at the end of the tunnel, basically. There's light at the end of the tunnel where both sides can feel okay with the outcome, all right? Just keep that in mind if you do have sort of that kind of situation going on when you do approach them or the situation itself. Okay, I'm not going to harp on that too, too much. But again, we do have, not again, but we have the scales here, as you can see, talking about balance. So it's not only talking about balance in the situation, but balance within you. Make sure you're balancing yourself at this time. And then we have nothing will come from this situation. Oh. I feel like this is a completely separate message. For those of you dealing with somebody, I'm hearing it's not a, a situation, like a place, it's somebody who you're close to or have been close to in the past. Yeah, who's done you wrong or just doesn't necessarily have your back at this, at this time. Feels like this understanding and this truth and revelation has, may have a lot to do with this. It may be time for you to realize that nothing's coming from it. So you need to push forward into this next chapter with a newfound view of, again, who's assisting in your growth and who's hindering it. And then we have don't let your past hold you back. Absolutely. Absolutely. I mean, as you're getting excited and even maybe a little anxious about this new beginning that's on the horizon for you. Make sure you're not letting people, places, or situations from the past, or even your thoughts of what occurred in the past to even begin to hold you back. Because guess what? It already happened. They already happened. It's done. Okay? And I mean, even if it tries to, those situations or people try to trickle back in, it's your responsibility you owe it to yourself to be like, you know what? I got a lot ahead of me. All right. I'm super excited about what's to come. I'm not looking about at, back at what was. So there's a very significant message about trying to stay in the present moment or at the very least look forward, not backward. Okay. So yeah, just try to stay stay focused on what's to, what's to come, my friend, because you're on your way to achieve what you want out of life. Okay. Beautiful. So on that note, if you haven't yet, please do subscribe to my wonderful channel and head on down below and do like this video and leave me a comment. I want to hear all about your personal situation. And uh, I hope you guys have the most amazing day and I'll see you next time. Bye.